Three, two. Welcome, welcome, welcome to yet another edition of Until the Last Drop. My name is Marco, if you haven't figured that out by now, that little brain buster for you. We're at Barney's Beanery in West Hollywood, California. It's a sunny day, and we're going to cook up with this with this guest, okay? As you can tell, I'm a little nervous because she's a huge comedian, okay? First, I want to thank Barney's Beanery and AJ for having me, as well as Purple Banter, Kati and LJ for producing this bad boy. And before we get to this special guest, oh, she's a funny bastard. It's the drop of the week, everyone's favorite. And if you've been following the podcast, I complain about a lot of bad dates. And a few weeks ago, I didn't even get to go on the date because she blew me off at Laurel Hardware. Yes, I wish she actually just blew me, but she didn't. And then I saw her here again. She was waiting in line. She asked me to get her in. And you know what? I'm a nice guy. I succumb to it. I get her and her friends in. They sit at the table. And then she says, I'm sorry I blew you off. I'm just nervous because I've gotten hurt by guys in the past. So I was like, don't worry, baby. I'm not going to hurt you. So we agree on a runyon date. The next morning, we were given some smoochy towns in the booth. Maybe a little booby grab. I don't know. And then the next day, we meet at Runyon Canaan. She's with her dog in the flesh. I was so excited. And then she goes, oh, my God. Do not hate me. You have to trust me. I'll show you the text right now. My manager just texted me. I have to do this last minute self tape. Can we reconvene in an hour? So I was like, you know what? You're here. I trust you. Go do your thing. I'll be back in an hour. I did some cryotherapy because I'm a bougie bitch. Uh, And then got a little smoothie action. And then went there at Runyon an hour later. No word from her. And I was like, okay, maybe she's a little late. She isn't answering my texts. And then 30 minutes go by, no answer again. So I start heading home, and I was like, she got me again. Four hours later, this bitch texts me saying, going to head to the gym. Are you going to that party tonight? The audacity to not even realize or recognize that she blew me off again and not even say sorry. Something came up. I got lost in the audition. And then I saw her here two nights ago. And she asked me for a vodka crayon. Are you fucking kidding me? That was the drop of the week. And I'm really excited for this guest. You may have seen her on Netflix. She performs and travels all around the world. And she can't get on Raya. It's Steph Tule. I've been doing shows. Now we ain't stank. Remember sleeping on the floor. We're still at the gas station. When the time's cold. In the kitchen. I still trying to flip it up. Let's go. Thank you. I'm not going to lie. I do love hearing a hot man complain about baseball. Oh, my God. Honestly, it's like empowering. You think I'm hot? You're hot. Okay. Like, you don't think you're hot. Oh. I hate when hot guys also are like, I'm hot. Shut up. <laughs> so annoying. So you told me before this that you can't get on Raya. What's up with that? I can't get on Raya. You're a goddamn I, well, celebrity. Well, I, I, look, I'm not saying I'm a celebrity. I'm saying I have more followers than most people. You gave me a fucking friend pass. That's how we met. We met I know. Like, literally last week, and you gave me friend pass, and so did two other girls from Fuckboy Island. I can't get on. I have emailed them. Raya, I, I, I keep doing this. I have emailed them with my up. Just strongly worded account. letter? Just I go, just so you know, I have 676,000 followers on TikTok. <laughs> I have 149,000 followers on Instagram. Get me on Raya. Yeah. I don't understand whose ass I have to suck to get on here. <laughs> and I will. I'll suck an ass. If I'll suck an ass? Raya, I'll suck a full ass to get on Raya. Have you, be- have you eaten... I need an ass, yeah, yeah, but it's got to be right out of the shower. Fresh out the shower. For no, like I have to, I have to be in the shower watching the scrub and then wash him, clean the cinnamon I'd like ring. To, I'd you like know? to clean. I'd like to clean it before I eat it. How about how about you getting your ass eaten? I'd also like to clean it before I get my ass eaten. That's fair. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. I get, I like it clean, but mine's gonna be filthy. Oh yeah, mine's fresh after a shit. No, I want both. <laughs> I want both to be both to be scrubbed, both to be clean. Yeah, is I think that, it's only fair. Is that your kink? Mm-mm. No, I'd, I'd prefer not to do it, but yeah, it, it is kind of kinky when it happens, but I'm also like. Poo comes out of there and it can still come yeah. out at any moment. I got to be in the moment. Yeah, and I have to be really drunk. Yeah. Like the ass ain't getting opened until I'm like, and I always afraid to shave my ass. I am too because it's chafe. Like I don't want to walk around like a porcupine. No, and I feel like we're both we're both hairy. Oh, I'm full Italian. Yeah, I'm, totally I'm Bulgarian. So, Bulgarian? Yeah, this is a, if I we know fucked, nothing about Bulgarians, be... <laughs> but I'm pretty sure they're hairy. Oh, if we fucked, we would just get entwined. <laughs> like our hair would just get combined oh and we would be stuck together. We'd just bust out the beads. We're in Jamaica. Yeah, that, oh, yeah. Our whole body would just be braids with beads. No, it would really be disgusting. Are you in on any other dating apps? I'm on all the apps. I'm on every single app except Field. What's Field? Field is like the kink app. Like the kink, like threesome, more than 
two parties. Oh, uh, really? Oh, excuse me. Have you, well, no. Have you ever had a threesome? I have. I've never had at least with two girls. Uh, you been with a guy? It wasn't all guys, but it was like two was on one. All guys? Yeah. Are you bi? No. No, I didn't do any like penis action with them, but oh, like, okay. like we, me, just... uh, me and my friend double teamed a girl. And oh, it was okay. Like, yeah. You didn't mention the girl at first. I thought it was just all guys. My no, the girl came up to me at a party. I told this on the last podcast. Oh. She was like, hey, your friend looking pretty cute. Why don't you go talk to you know, him and like maybe see if he inv- wants to get involved later that night? And I was like, sick. My five inch pink pepper isn't enough. Okay. okay. So, uh, Did you say that to her, your five inch pink pepper? She already knew. We hooked up before. Okay. So oh, it's okay. like maybe it wasn't sufficient enough. Okay. Okay. So uh, maybe five and five <laughs> equals 10. I don't know because he has a yes. small penis too. And I know that for a fact. So we go back to my place, and I know where to start. So I started going down on him, uh, and then she yeah. left. No, I'm okay. <laughs> I was like, oh, maybe that's why it was. Uh, no, um, but I was the first one out, uh, and then they just ended up fucking for like an hour because I have a quick trigger. First one out, so you came and you left the room. I, I didn't like come and then just watch them <laughs> finish. So you came and you went. Good, yeah, good evening, everybody. Smoked He's a left. pack of parliaments on my balcony. <laughs> I thought everyone kind of stayed and you like took part in other things. What would be the other thing? I, here's the thing. I don't know. I think threesomes are too much, and I don't thoroughly enjoy them. So you've had them with I've them. had two. One with a guy and a girl, and then another one kind of recently with two guys. But the one guy immediately tapped out and went to the floor, which really weirded me out. What? You just started, like, laying on the floor? Like, he planking? literally was like, I, we went back to the hotel. Like, Twister? Like, well, it was like these two Germans. It was, it was a German guy I met in, in Miami. Oh, my. Well, this is, it started weird. He gave me that schnitzels. He literally was like, hey. we're at the bar talking, and he's like, okay, you have two options. One. <laughs> You come back with me and you fuck me. Or two, you come back and fuck me and my friend. And I was like, these are my only two options? Like, there's no other option here? So I'm like, well, I'm going to fuck you and your friend just because it's a fun mix. But yeah. I go back and he was sleeping. Guy's wiping crust out of his eyes in the hotel room. I'm like, this guy's not ready to fuck. Really? So me and him start kind of fooling around the other guy. And then he, the other friend comes out, the one I wanted to fuck. And then the other guy went to the floor and it was on his phone. I was like, what's with him? And he's like, yeah, he's going through a breakup. He's sad. And I was like... Well, is he gonna stay there? Can he leave the room? And he wasn't even watching yeah. us. <laughs> He's throw a finger somewhere? Yeah, he wouldn't. He's not even peeking. I'm like, am I disgusting this man? Now? Like, at least, <laughs> not at least. Even and peeking. then they kept talking like in German to each other. I'm like, what are you saying right now? Yeah. Are you saying like I pictured me like I'm fucking this pig? We're almost done. Like I don't know what he was saying. <laughs> but I, was like, I was so offended by the whole thing. It was a nightmare. Is uh is German like the most uh, ethnic or like what's the what's the most creative? Ethnicity that you've uh, had inside of you. I creative. I, I mean, I don't ask everyone's fucking background. <laughs> fuck. I don't ask to see the have green you, card. Have you ever fucked a black guy? Oh That's yeah. What, that, oh yeah. Lots of black guys. Yeah. So like size matter or isn't it? Is it true that they have bigger penises? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Big time. Really? Oh, every single one of them. Every single black guy I fucked is exponentially larger than the white man. No way. Not even. Not even comparison. What's the biggest? Just give me a hand. I fucked a guy in Montreal, and it was like I would say this, and it was like thick. Let like, me get a look at this. It was like it was. Fuck you. It was like I swear. That's to God, not I, fair. It wasn't fair. It hurt. It moved around my organs. Honestly, it was too big. It was too much. In the girth, I think girth is where it gets you because it starts like dilating your uh, little <laughs> vagina yeah, hole. Wow, little vagina hole. I, yeah. didn't, I didn't know I was on here with a doctor dilating <laughs> the little vagina hole. It's actually a medical podcast. I had no idea. Uh, speaking of Germans, uh, Scottish, right? I uh, used to uh, I, used to do the Scottish the jig dance. dance yes, yeah? I did. Yeah, yeah. What did you Google on me to find this out? I Googled <laughs> big black penis. Yeah, uh, yeah step to eleven. Step to No Raya. Yeah. <laughs> everything everything, just came everything up. comes up. I'm an open book. You can find everything about me. Um, yeah, I used to Highland dance. Really? Very bizarre, yeah. Would you say that goes into your comedy at all? Because you are pretty physical. I think it does. I think that's a big reason why I'm so physical. Really? Yeah, I've danced my whole life. And it's raunchy. So is it your sex stories that make it, like, I, your just, style? Like, where's your style come from? I'm honestly a pervert all the time. Like, people think they're always like, female comedians always talk about the pussy. I only talk about my pussy all the time anyways. It's not like I just go on stage and talk about it. I'm off stage, on stage. I'm always a pervert. Like I literally was saying to you, I'm literally the second this podcast is over, I'm getting railed by a 27 year old. Like I, I'm like, I'm no a way. Fucking, I'm a pervert. I'm a pig. What's the youngest you'll go? No, this is that's pushing it. I'm 38. I'm not fucking Crystal Lee over here. I'm, I'm 38, but I feel like this is. <laughs> I'm trying. I, I I make sure I don't go like 10 years to me younger is a little. That's capping it. Yeah, I would say I would say low 30s. That's what you look like. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I'm 38, so that's, <laughs> I feel good. What do you? How old do you go? How old are you? I'm 28. Okay. 28. The youngest I'll go is like 20. 20? <laughs> They're not even legal. No, yeah, they are. 21 is no, legal. No, all right. So I stopped not going after 20 year olds. Like, oh, come here. Yeah, uh, but I matched with On Raya because I'm On Raya. Yeah, we get it. <laughs> uh, and took her to Soho House. That's my date spot. I'm Monday nights, though, because I get 50% off and I don't want to invest too much. That, you go there? That's my first date spot. And That's I need horrendous. This, I know. The food sucks. The service isn't the best. It's the worst spot in Hollywood. But it kind of impresses, especially like young, like... 
No, I would. I would. If you What's suggest your that, I would spot? leave. What's your ideal a dive bar? I like a dimly lit dive bar. Drinks are accessible, not too much money. So, like, but you've never been to Barney's. Barney's is pretty dive. I know, it's too far out West Hollywood. I stay East Hollywood. I buy Silver Lake. Oh, bar. so have you been to Tenants of the Trees? Yeah, but you go when you go to these swanky ass places. I'm talking like Ye Rustic Inn, fucking drawing room, people doing cocaine at 6 a.m. I'm talking like dimly lit. You, like this is the, like the brightest movie. podcast it's like, of my life. Like, <laughs> I'm, I, I'm popping my pimples here. This is so fucking it's, bright. It's, this is absurd. It's like so. It's like movie like dive bar. It's like I, yeah. Real I want shit. classic like a pool table in the corner. I want a weird regular trying to suss everybody out. Like I, want, I found the best dive bar on the planet. Yeah. In Sacramento this weekend. Really? It was. It was. It's called Mother Load. There's a Mother Load in West Hollywood. And it's is a gay bar. Oh, I I, I want to go to this then. It was literally like oh, karaoke night you <laughs> locals. It was. The best. Really? It was like one hipster couple and then all people over 50. And it was the, the I was unreal. Is that what you like to do on the road? Is like go to like yeah. experience like cool little dive bars? Yeah, I do dive bars at night after my shows. And then I'll do, um, <clears throat> I'll do uh, vintage shopping in the day. And I made a new rule that I'm no longer fucking my fans because I, I fucked my last fan. Really? Where was done. it? Yeah. Sacramento? No, in, 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 the in, dive in, bar. in Florida. In Florida. And we're done now. It's fa- well, it, Fans are just weird. Because you don't know if they're general. fucking you for you or your status. Well, it's also like, I'm a fan of this band called Death From Above. Like, I'm a huge fan. My Death favorite band of all time. Above? 1979, they're a rock duo from Toronto. I'm okay. obsessed with them. The way I behave when I see them or I talk to them or I DM them isn't normal. It's bizarro world behavior. I'm like, they're talking! Like, I get like obsessive and I'm like, that's a fan. Fans are fucking weird. So when that person's with you, like it's... There's yeah. just something, there's a weird, there's a weird thing. And I, at first I was like, oh, it's nice. They like me because they know me, but it's like, too do too they know me or do they know too much about me? You like, feel like, like you have to like say jokes during bed to like- Oh, some, them, one guy the, quoted me before in the middle of- fuck No, me. fuck you. He no, goes, he did does not. mama like, I swear to God. He quoted <laughs> all my jokes. And I went, did you just do me? He's like, yeah, I probably shouldn't have. I'm like, no, you should not have. That was bizarre. Did you instantly come? No, I instantly dried up. It, like I think, if I his, his, I just locked his penis inside me. He's like, N- you're never. I love down. when that happens though, when you're fucking a girl and like their vagina like squeezes it because they're about to come. That's really nice. I guess I didn't realize it squeezed like that. Oh yeah, it squeezes oh. and it's like whoa, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa, wet and wild. Yeah, it's like you're going down fucking Splash Mountain. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, what's the weirdest place you've had sex? Weirdest place? Yeah. Uh, probably the dock on my parents' cottage. Oh God! Yeah. Fucking cottage. <laughs> yeah. Where did, you, where did you grow up? Fucking in Martha's Vineyard. Oh. No. <laughs> no, in Toronto, Canada. Oh, you're Canadian. Canadian. Nice. You didn't Google me that hard enough. Man. Nice. Yes. Very cool. Do you miss Canada? Every day. Every single moment. Every single day. It's safe. It's clean. It's nice. Is it as like polite as like the stereotype is? Like, are the people yeah, that the, different? No, I think people are that different. I just think they're. It's just much safer. Yeah, I'm like terrified of mosquitoes. Did you see the thing that came out today? There's West Nile in West LA Nile? now. No way. There's, oh, buddy, Let's get some there's bug West, spray. There's West here. Nile in You're LA. Flying some bug spray. <laughs> there's um, full West Nile out here. Wait, so okay, so Canada. When did you yeah. move here? Eight years ago. Eight years ago, mm-hmm. and how long have you been doing comedy? Twenty years. Twenty years. Yeah, I started I was eighteen. So twelve years in Canada, and you finally like were like, hey, I gotta go to LA. No, you finally get all your green card stuff together and, and able to apply to for a green card to get it to move out here. So you, you can't just like, I didn't want to come out here with nothing because you can get deported. So I had to make sure, and the green card, you need like 10, it's like 10 categories, you have to fill up at least six. So it's like commercials, acting work, um, oh. c- festivals, a co- like awards that you won, like a bunch of letters from people. So I had to wait till uh, it took me a long time. It took me like 12 years pretty much to build no up a green way. card. Yeah, and you can get denied. How often could you come? I, now I can come whenever, but before I was in like an 01, so I can come, but I just couldn't work here. Yeah. So you're itching. It's it's the mosquitoes. You're freaking me out. Did you get bit? What? Oh, I always have mosquito bites. It's, it's a weird thing. West Nile. You're West Nile. You're, I'm West you're Nile. Attracting I'm them West here. Nile. You're attracting the bugs. <laughs> no. You're Italian blood. They're smelling the I, They do. I'm, I'm full Italian. Marinara. Are you full Bulgarian? No, I'm half something else. Wait, you said, know. I thought you were from Bulgaria, so you're, you're Canadian Bulgarian? Yes. Mm-hmm. It's a good mix. Is it? I don't know. <laughs> Looks it. Checks out. I guess. I was like, is it a good mix? Sure. It Checks be. out. Yeah, yeah. So you started doing comedy there. And when did you start, like, absolutely blowing up? Was it from social media? Um, or? Yeah, it was a combo of social media. And I did uh, Bill Burr's Friends Who Kill on Netflix last year. That is so impressive. Bill Burr yeah. is one of my favorite comedians. Well, I'm one of Bill Burr's favorite comedians. Yeah. I, Which is, I'm not, I'm I, not so I watched like a podcast. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you said something about 
Oh my God, what was it? You came out on stage and you jogged out and you and he knew oh, yeah. he knew all oh, that she's gonna crush because you jogged and out. And I ran by him. I'm like, why am I jogging? Like, I don't know. I, I was so and I opened for him in Toronto and he wrote me this movie that's coming out October 20th. Let's go. Yeah, What's yeah. the movie called? Uh, Old Dads. Old Dads. Yeah, it's coming. Oh my Netflix. God, I, I yeah, saw yeah, that. Yeah. I saw a preview for that. Yeah, yeah, I'm in that. What's your role? I'm a disgusting pig woman. <laughs> oh yeah, I literally play a woman eating a breakfast burrito, farting on a on a. What's your name, Tammy Lynn? I don't even think I have a. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think I have a. Um, I don't think I have a name. I just it was just like I think I was written as staff, like the rule. How'd you guys meet? He saw a video on my Instagram. He saw Shit. my stupid like, and I did a, a stand up thing with him a while ago, but I think he like kind of forgot because it was like he met like twenty comics in one day, so it was a whole thing. But yeah, we met. Uh, he saw this Instagram video and he DM me and it was he's like, "Do you want to open for me?" I'm like, "Uh, yeah." And then he asked me to do the special. I was like, "Yeah, okay, I'll do this." Bill Burr. Fuck, and Crazy. then you just started jogging, and it was all over. Started jogging, and then during the pandemic, uh, I started getting a big following on TikTok because I went crazy. So I moved home with my parents, and I was di I did something where I'm like, I'm gonna do a video every single day. So like every day for like three months, I pumped out content with That's your weird. parents. Sometimes with them, a lot with me. So I, I started growing TikTok pretty quickly. No way. Yeah. Do you prefer TikTok over Instagram? Um, no, because no one. I don't think TikTok really translate to ticket sales i i don't think so either views and stuff but like i am always on instagram scrolling and sending yeah. shit on instagram TikTok, yeah. i don't really use it's no it's all my like inbox is like weird bots and stuff so it's like I yeah, don't yeah, even yeah. Really, yeah yeah the matt rife got freaking huge over was it over the pandemic or whatnot yeah like, yeah i think like, it also helps to look like that yeah i think it's a big help like i like most of my comments is either that i'm really funny from women or men saying that i'm trans so it's like it's very <laughs> That's literally, I literally, so I just, I just did Tiger Belly, Bobby Lee's podcast. Yeah. And I started reading the comments and there's so many such nice ones. I'm like, wow, I like the internet again. And then one guy's like, look at this trans Jew. Why did they <laughs> this trans Jew on here? And I'm like, okay, there, that's the internet I know so much about. Yeah. It is wild how upset people get over trans. Like I'm not trans. I, I people get upset clear. about them being about, trans. No, just anyone being trans. I'm like, why did, why did anyone care about this? Yeah. Who cares what anybody else is doing with their fucking body? Exactly. It's such a bizarre stance to be like, no, they can't. What do you care? Exactly. And especially with the drag queen stuff at like reading to bookstores to oh kids. My God. Like, okay, <laughs> if you don't want a drag queen reading to your child, don't bring in the Barnes and Noble. Them. But also, yeah. who's still going to Barnes and Noble? Yeah, nobody. Psychos. Have you seen those videos of guys stalking women? Joe around? from you. That's yeah, who's going. Disgusting. It's it's insane. I, it's whatever. I'm like, I, I just feel bad for people who are trans because I'm like, yeah. the hate I'm getting. But yeah. I'm not even. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'm like, I can't imagine what they're you're going the through poster, when they are. You're the poster they. The po you're I the am. poster they. I am. I'm the poster they them, even though I'm like sitting over here being like, I'm a woman. Yeah. I talk about my big pussy all the time. Yeah. And you get lesbian a lot, you said too? Mm -hmm. Yeah. A lot of people think I'm gay. Yeah. Well, you had a, well, I give a, off, you have I a hilarious, that. the mullet with bring him to the woods. I wish I was gay sometimes and like a oh, go yeah, to straight. Yeah, 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 the go yeah, to, yeah, straight. I yeah. wish that was a going, yeah, going gay camp. Going gay camp. Um, yeah, no, but I also have been with women. So I'm like, I, I'm also not offended. I'm not offended by anything anyone calls me because I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Like, it's not. So you're, would you say you're bi? I, I mean, technically, yes, but I don't, like, I haven't fooled around with a woman in, like, eight years. Okay. Maybe nine. Huh. I think like, for me, it's, like, guys, like, I check out every guy. Like, I, I'm, like, a construction worker. Like, my head turns, I'm like, oh, look, there's one. Like, I'm sick. But then with, <laughs> with girls, it's, like, it's a very specific girl that I'm like, oh, excuse moi. Like, it's not, like, every woman I'm checking yeah. out. Yeah. But I'm definitely checking out every man. I feel like everyone... Like, so far in L.A., in my experience, I've been here eight years. Probably the most beautiful people in the world. I haven't been to a lot of places internationally. But, like, okay, L.A.'s yeah, got yeah. some absolute tens. And everyone's, like, an L.A. eight is hotter than, like, a Ohio six. Yeah. Yeah, and we have the loudest truck ever going yeah, by. Yeah, that's a very loud truck. Of course, it's Casamigos. Um, I hijack that one. But I, I, I don't know. I think New York, I like the men better in New York. They're more gritty and they're, so like, you, you blue, perform in New York color a lot, men. right? I think the girls in New York are more aggressive. Like, girls out here will ask you what you do before how you're doing. It's really oh, annoying, okay. especially as, like, an up-and-coming actor, comedian, whatnot. Uh -huh, like, uh -huh. I don't have my life figured out yet, necessarily, and I can't provide for you all the time, but they expect, expect, expect. Okay. But I just want to, I do want to take you to brunch, but we can't go to Beverly Hills Hotel all the time, you know? Sometimes it's you have so to go to Outback. It's so bizarre, the different levels of dating out here. Because it's either that, or it's like, I was just saying before the podcast, I got stood up by four different guys in two weeks. When like, was it? Like this, literally, like the last few weeks. Stood up, like how, like, 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 a, like a Runyon Canyon story from the beginning. Yes, literally, like a like make plans and then last minute something came. Like one guy, this pissed me off so much. I mean, maybe I should like show this to you as a man. I would love to. I don't even know where it is anymore because it was like, 
we had been talking. He DM'd me. He was a fan, which I made a mistake again. Very cute. I was like, how did I know you following me? What the heck? And I was like, this guy's hot. So I scrolled through. We made plans to meet up on, um, I think it was on like a, a Monday night at like six, texting nonstop. At Thursday night, I hear nothing, silence. And I was like, okay, weird. I'm like, I guess whatever. Yeah. Thursday, Friday, Saturday goes by, nothing. And I'm like, huh. So Sunday, I text at like 6 p.m. I go, so are we still on for tomorrow or what? Because I'm a big planner. I my I have to fucking plan everything. Well, that's what girls like too. When a guy gives you a designated time and place, it's like okay, locks it in. It shows confidence. Yeah. Instead of like, oh, we should hang out next week. No, I love no, this. So I was like, I was right? like, okay, he's giving me a time, he's giving me a place. Yeah. But we were talking so much between that, I was like, oh, we'll just keep kind of texting before the date, whatever. And then I don't hear a peep. Sunday all day Sunday. Monday, five fifty nine p.m. I get a text from him going, hey, sorry about being in my all weekend. I dropped my phone in between my. My console Fuck and my. The there's no God. fucking way. He said he took his car to the shop, left it there. I was like, there's no way this is real. It's a very specific story. It was a very specific story, but I was like, and I didn't even reply. And then he was like, if you still want to meet up, we can. I'm like, does this motherfucker think I sat around all fucking night waiting? I had another date lined up. Are you kidding me? I'm not waiting. I, like, I'm so busy that if I don't have a show, then I have a date. Yeah. Like, I, like, Are you I'm trying like, to find Mr. Right or just Mr. Right Penis? I, right now, I am Mr. Right Penis. I'm yeah. too busy. Unless you're somebody... trying to look for fun, some fun and like yeah. a designated partner or like a roster. No, no, I like a designated. I'm par I'm like paranoid about SEDs. Okay. But I'm like, even though I've never fucked with a condom, I'm like, I yeah, SEDs are gross. I'm like, oh wait, hey. <laughs> so gross. I'm do disgusting. you physically rip them off? Or no, like say no, 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 or like salt. No, I don't do that. Oh. No, no, no. That's the salt. No, you can't do that, right? You sure. In California, if you if you say you're putting on a condom, I this goes for both sides. If you put on a condom, if, if it's disgusted, a condom's going on, and you slip it off without them knowing that it's considered assault, you can be arrested. Really? Yeah. What if I slip it off without you knowing? Assault. Assault. You're, that's assault. You're getting arrested. No, you're getting arrested. You're getting arrested. You're getting arrested. Yeah, you know, that's <laughs> certainly assault. Um, but Dan, why, yeah. why are they standing you up? What do you I don't know. I, I, think I, maybe, I was like, to be honest, I think they may be intimidated because you're going to be funnier than them. Oh, a lot of them are intimidated. They have to be. Yeah, a lot. And I'm like, so this guy, I have a date tonight, so we'll see. Um, <clears throat> we'll see how that goes. You're going to dive bar. So mm -hmm. you pick the date spot. What if they offer to take you to like a catch steak or a lower hardware of sorts? Yeah, I'd go, but no one's ever taking me to these fucking places. I find really? psychopaths. My ex-boyfriend, complete and utter psychopath. Like I'll tell you off air, but it's it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's bad. Like you're laughing now. It's actually like I'm terrified. But I find like the weirdos come out of the woodwork. I think it's my comedy and who I am. Like I have this one guy that I have a big crush on right now who's like an older guy who's an artist who I'm like super into, but it's, he doesn't live here. It's not going to work. But I'm like, He's now my bar for what I want in a man. I just want a funny guy. I want a funny guy okay. who's hardworking, who doesn't, who's not intimidated. So not looks anymore. I mean, no, I want looks, but I'm like, I just, I want obviously to be attracted to them, but I'm like, I just want somebody who I can riff with. Yeah. Who, who's not like my ex. I had to spend, I paid for everything for him for four months. He had no job. But I'm like, I'm like, I don't want to be paying. I'm, I'm not paying for people. I'm like, things should be mutual. I'm, I'm totally fine with splitting a bill. I'm not against that, but I'm like, no, that's no. You, need, you need to. I want the like, first I date. I want to be paid for. I don't then even after that. If, no, I don't even care. Like, if I don't like you, especially on the first date, I'm paying the bill. And if subsequent dates well, tell, after, tell more men this because every every day to go. On I don't know if it's full Angeles, Italian. It I'm full Italian. I have three sisters. Like, I just know how to walk on the outside of the street, we'll open the door. But girls out here, especially young girls, like getting treated like shit. And I don't know what age they turn and be like, "Oh, mate, I want a nice guy." Like, when when does that happen? Because so far, all the girls I go out with, and granted, I meet it out at a nightclub or Barney's Beanery, yeah. but uh, <laughs> but. They all want to be treated like shit for some reason. I, I don't know. I think at this point, that's just how the society has changed, and then we're just used to it. Like, we're, I'm, I'm simply, like, when I, I, I'm still like, oh, this guy's probably going to stand me up tonight. Like, I still have, like, a back burner plan in case. No way. I always have two plans. Oh, yeah, my friend's watching Bachelorette tonight. I'm like, yep. I, I, she's, and I told her. She knows. She's like, you know if you're dating this happened. I'm like, I know this backup plan, because I guess that, that often that I'm like, I always make that's backup plans. That's terrible. I just don't care. In this city. Anywhere else, no. It's this city specifically. Really? Yeah, LA's bad. What's your best city for that you've had sex in or like dating? Um, maybe Austin. I got a lot of oh, maybe cowboy. Austin. I don't know. I can't think. Of, I, I, I don't know. Maybe I don't even know. Yeah, Austin probably. I'd say any literally any other city but LA. I go on Tinder and I'm like, oh, I'm attractive. And Tinder, I'm like, oh, I'm an inside out pig. I don't know what to tell you. It's like it's crazy. Yeah, Tinder. Well, in my experience, Tinder has some uh, wildebeest for sure. They uh, all it do. goes from like Tinder to Bumble to Hinge to Raya, and then this new one, Blush. I don't know. What's I'm tired blush? of all of them. What? Blush, blush is the new Raya. Oh, blush another is the one new I Raya. Can't get on. Another one. Kathy's get on. getting on. 
What is so you have to be recommended? Yeah, I can. Uh, I'll try this time. You know, I'll, I'll write a, CC him in the email. God CC me on the email. It. Get me in. Uh, quick shout out to our sponsors, Rainstorm. Uh, good clean energy. I like it instead of coffee. I'm not a huge coffee drinker. Are you? These are good. I'm a huge coffee drinker, but these are actually good. It's, not I bad, like right? This. No, it's pretty good. Happy Dad, of course, the happiest seltzer. And I got a friend. Shout out Chris for popping by. What you, do you smoke weed? Yeah. Well, I got a bag of gummies for you, edibles from Plus. Uh. You have a variety of sativa, oh the ones gosh, that go to look bed. At this. Yeah, cool packaging too. Sour watermelon. Dare I take one now for the date? Oh, why not? Oh, <laughs> is, do you pregame a date? No. Oh, I pre drink on a date. Yeah, uh, you have to. No, right? I do. I do. do I you do. You pregame? Got you? Well, Oh, oh, he was. Sober. And he picks okay. and he picks Surly Goat, which is a diveus bar. I was and gonna go. That's what I was gonna go there the other that's day. That's a diveus bar yeah, right yeah, down the yeah, street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And okay. Well, yeah. no, that's. No, no, but that's I, I do like one pregame usually because I'm a little nervous. Do you go somewhere or just like pop open a glass of wine at home? No, yeah, I'll pop, I'll, I'll make I'll be I'll be having a tequila soda when I, when I get ready tonight. Yeah. Okay. What's your favorite yeah. kind of tequila? Ah, uh, whatever the hell. I, I'm yeah. not picky. Yeah. I'm a Casamigos guy. Yeah, I think I do Big mostly that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, speaking of the sex, Austin, what's your favorite sex position? I like being on top. I've had a lot of girls say that it's easier for them to come. It's or way maybe easier like, to but come. But does it come down to your like, it's on the on the control? Are you a dom? I'm I feel like your energy screams dom. I know, but I don't think I am. Oh, you I just want to be slapped around like a little <laughs> no, like no, a little like Bulgarian slapping. girl. I don't like the slapping. Slapping, we don't like slapping. You don't like slapping. We don't like slapping. What about a choke? No. I Keep your hands to yourself and just give me that dick. <laughs> no, I like like a fondling, like a tweaking, like a sucking, What's like a, a fondling? grabbing. Describe a like fondling a fond with your like hands. Like a fondling, a nipple fondling. Oh, a nipple fond. Like a fond, yeah. Like a, nipple like a Jane tweet. fondling. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly it. <laughs> nipple Jane fondling is what I like. I like being on top because I like, I, I like that looking, like that image more. And it's, and I'm a squirter. So that if. No if, way. If, you got very excited. <laughs> and are we fucking? So we. It, can it, I be like, your backup plan? <laughs> And so that I can really make it go when I'm on top. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you enjoy the act of squirting? I enjoy when the guy likes it and I know I can okay. control it. So I can really, if they are into it, then I can be like, Check Apparently this out. every girl is capable of yes, being a squirter. Are. I've been discussing this on several podcasts. If you can, if you want to see me on Two Bears, One Cave discussing it, uh, like Bert Kreischer and Tom Segura called and Segura? me. They called me. Um, yes, what, this is why I tell everybody squirting is that feeling when you think you're going to piss. Every girl's gotten it when you're fucking, you're like, oh, I'm going to pee? That squirt. It's coming out of the same hole. There's a whisper of piss in there for sure, but it's not full piss. Like, I, I squirted all over bed this weekend in San Fran. Bed was soaked. No, I smelled it the next morning. No piss, no stains. It was like, it's like a clear. Really? Yeah. Because I had my first squirter that was like a, like a self-proclaimed squirter. She prefaced it. Mm -hmm. And I was like, game on. And then after, I was like, I'm soaked. The bed's soaked. I wish, like, that didn't happen. But it turned me on when what she did because okay, I was yeah. like, I'm so powerful. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, guys. So really get a girl think, squirt, you know? Yeah, I guess it's like this pulling. This guy told me in the Hamptons, and that was the most pretentious thing I've ever said in my life. That was crazy. Crazy, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh first time God. in the Hamptons this summer. Uh, and I don't know why the guy told me this. Where was this guy? We were at a bar, and we were just okay. talking, and he was like drunk. He was like, see that girl over there? I'm going to make her squirt. I, hate I was like, this oh, man. yeah? He was like, yeah, every girl's capable of squirting. No, and you just got to pull, you got to go up and pull. No, I guess. no, no, that's not. You know, it's like it's like lifting your trunk hatch. No, I like can. In your car. I can squirt from just an outside finger. You don't have to out and pull. Re oh, so you're yeah. an easy squirter. I, if I'm super turned on by the person, then I am. This last weekend, I'm, I was super turned on by the guy. Like I, the guy, it's the guy I have a crush on, and I squirted more than I've ever squirted in my life. Yeah. Like so fast, USA. How like old was, will you go? I've gone up to uh, 58, 59. 58, 59. Uh -huh, 20 years older. How's that? With a ball saggier? Oh, no, I did a 61 year old, but it, he couldn't stay hard. What's a 60? Is that like a 69 sex term? 61? No, he, no he's 61 years old. Wow. Yeah, and he, he didn't stay hard. You're just slapping it here's, around? Here's what I want like to make an announcement. Toggle too. stick? It was, it was barely, uh, you couldn't call that a stick. It was a wet log. <laughs> here's the thing men, a lot of men, even younger guys that I fuck, get soft because they drink too much, they're stressed, whatever. We don't care if you're taking a pill. No woman is ever gonna be like Viagra. You took Viagra. We don't. We would love it. I oh. would love. A, I would love a hard penis. Oh, you better hear their story then. Yes. I didn't know how Viagra worked. Um, like I didn't know if it was instant or not. So uh -huh. I brought a girl home from the club, and this is like five years ago. Get back to my place. I was like, I want to go extra hard tonight because I'm a quick trigger, you know. And, how quick is quick? Uh, if I'm completely sober, minute and a half. 
We timed it? You have like a... <laughs> go! <laughs> and we did it! We beat the record! Wow. No, Why like jerking you... off. Like, I go in the bathroom, oh, okay. I reverse cowgirl the toilet. Uh, reverse cowgirl the toilet? So, like, I have... Tugging it down? No, so, like, if the toilet... If this is the toilet right here, like, the seat and then yeah. the back, I'll, like... Oh, big act like out here. This. So I have something in the top of the top of the pot. Uh huh. And then I'm going to town. The lotion's here. I can pop my phone up. It's like an all in one. Oh, and then you jizz into the toilet. Yeah, and then maybe the setup makes it a minute and a half, and I should like think about maybe oh, slowing down. What was? I I feel like that seems uh, your toilet. Is it clean? Is there? I feel like there's hairs everywhere. You got your Italian curls. I'm a very clean person. Are you? Yeah. Okay. I shaved the peeves. I haven't shaved in the ass in a while, so it's like a little George of the Jungle. But yeah, yeah, yeah. No. It's, uh, it's so anyway, cool. so I took Viagra as soon as we got home. We had sex. I lasted like four minutes because I was drunk. Wow. Uh, I know, impressive, it's, right? It's long. It's yeah, long, long time. Yeah. And then she <laughs> left, uh, and then it started kicking in. My first time taking it. I was ferociously oh. masturbating, like sweating, uh -huh. from the hours of like 2.30 in the morning <laughs> to 7.30 in the morning. I thought I was going to die. I think, yes. I, I've heard this before. Every time I came, it would not go down, and I was like, you know how like... Sometimes you're so backed up, and I don't know why I produce more cum. Like, you, like, cum shot yourself. Uh-huh. Yeah, like, I fucking gave myself four facials that night. Oh. I didn't side. learn either. I was so into the moment. So, okay, but was it a gas station pill? Or like, like, on page actual... 76 of Pornhub. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Are you, wait, was it, uh, like, a normal Viagra, like an actual branded Viagra? Oh, yeah, it was from my doctor. Oh, was it? Okay. Yeah, I was like, hey, I have a quick trigger. Could I, like, try something? He, like, gave me a antidepressant because I guess that numbs it and helps okay, lasting longer. Okay. Uh, he gave me a Viagra and a Cialis. Cialis didn't try, Viagra tried, and I'm scared. But what, are, are people getting annoyed? Like, I, I love a quick fin. I can, I can finish quite quickly. If it's quick, And I, I personally go down on you until, so okay, I know you're satisfied the and, the, and the anxiety of, like, performing goes down. Yeah, well, then what the hell's the problem? I wouldn't give a shit if somebody ate me out right after they, they Oh, came. really? But sometimes oh girls God. just want to get fucked. Yeah, I do. But I'll be like, use your fingers and get your face down there. So you love getting eaten out? Uh, if they're good. Yeah? I, I find a lot of men are not good. Yeah. Is this some bothering you, by the way? No, I'm good. I okay, was cool. looking for my sunglasses. Um, yeah, I find a lot of men are not good. So, no offense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No offense to men. Well. But actually, the woman who ate me out, probably best pussy I've ever had in my life. Really? Oh yeah, I came three times. I've never come three times since I'm even pussy before. Yeah, she knew the exact spots. So I was like, oh okay, maybe I am gay. Really? Yeah. Well, I had a ten year hiatus from eating pussy. Uh, I tried it a once. Ten and year I hiatus. Listen, I tried once in high school. It was my first old puss. Sophomore year, I was fifteen years old. Wow, that's uh, early. And I did not like it. It smelled like um, it smelled like uh, soul. Soul. Yeah, like a fish. Oh, okay. Yeah. Specific. I don't I know like, why I went so with it. Like, I could have said any soul. fish. Yeah, I, I could have like, said salmon or trout. Anything. But I was like, okay. So I, 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 yeah. I thought it was like here. fancy. I was like 15 years old. Oh, well. you do go to Soho House, so you would say uh, that. They do have a great mm -hmm. grilled soul. Yeah. yeah. God's <laughs> sake. Uh, okay, so she was having an off day. She was having an off Sewer. day. And I was scared that every pussy's going to uh, taste like that. So I went 10 years and didn't go down again until my ex girlfriend uh, when I was 25. Uh, and then okay. I fell in love with it because it was clean and the pH balances were like perfect. Okay. Uh, that poor girl for having an off day. I mean, We've she probably didn't know how to clean it. She was 15 years old. We shouldn't have been eating each no, other I out was in the like, first place. I was like, I, my pussy was not ready to be sucked on when I was 15. When did you lose your virginity? 19. Really? Oh, I was late. A late bloomer. I, I wanted to make sure I was in love. Would you go up Catholic? No, I would. And then now I'm the biggest pervert in the world. It makes no sense. I was like, I want to be in love with my boyfriend. And then after him, I was like, I'm fucking everybody that walks. Really? Yeah. What made the switch? You got you came. Wait, wait. Did you come before your virginity? Loss? Oh yeah, yeah. No. I, I oh, okay. Was, I was so you were getting faces, after it. You're, you're, I was fingering. Oh yeah. You're I was Freddy doing everything. got fingered. Oh, oh yeah. I was Freddie getting fingered every night. Yeah. I was Francesca got fingered. Yeah, yeah. I was I was fingering nonstop, but I just didn't want to uh, the official. Yeah. And I'm glad I waited. Yeah. Because I had something. This is very rare. Um, my first time having sex, I had to go to the hospital the next morning. I had to go to the emergency. I had a very thick hymen. That I didn't know about, and I woke up to a pool of blood in my bed. No way. And clots the size of my hands falling out of my pussy. No way. I had to shove a beach towel in my underwear. Oh steal my, my god. Parents car. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, uh, I. Oh, you didn't. <laughs> That's like... Odd. Uh, I literally rushed to the hospital. They rushed me, and they thought something was stuck inside me because I could not stop bleeding. Oh yeah, first time I lost. That's how I lost my virginity. So what's a hymen? It's like a thick. It's like the skin barrier, right? It's like a piece of skin like in there. 
Yeah, it's like the cherry pop. Oh. Turns out I had like the thickest cherry on the planet, Bulgarian. Oh, Bulgarian, Bulgarian cherries. Hybrids. Those they're Bulgarian very, cherries will get they're you. They're hard to get through. They're hard to tear. Uh, so it was that was that. And they were like, they thought there was like, doctor looked at my boyfriend at the time because he came with me. And he's like, what did you put inside her? And I was like, what did you put? They thought it was like a, a toy they shoved in the wrong way. Yeah. So what made you, did your parents bring you? No, I, I drove okay. myself with him, and then oh, really? I didn't fuck for three months after that's that. That's what I was going to say. Like, three oh, months? That? I would have been scarred for life. Well, I was like, if that's what sex is. No, we, it, it also, he had a very big penis. So I think that's, it was my was first black? time was getting in black? there. No. It's your first guy, but black it was, guy? It was shaped like, no, no, it was a black guy. He was white, but it was shaped like a, a football. Oh. Like, I was like, the girthy in the middle. Oh, oh, yeah, and I think that's what really fucked the Like one of those, like, cherry, Chinese yeah. doll games I keep getting smaller. Yeah, 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 but it got bigger, and it, 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 really? it punctured my insides, yeah. Are you still in touch? Did you have sex with him again after that? Oh yeah, we dated for seven years. Oh no, he was like my first and longest boyfriend. Do you think he just felt so bad that like? No, he 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 honestly no, he felt bad. It was he was like it was the perfect person to lose my virginity to because he was so fucking sweet and he felt so bad. I was like, this is not your fucking fault. But he came with me and he like took care of me. It was very nice. Really? Yeah. Do you miss him? No, we still talk. I'm, oh, you are you good? Oh yeah, we're friends. Yeah. You yeah. have a good relationship though. Oh yeah, no, he's he's married. He's having a kid very soon. Yeah, yeah no, no, we're oh. all we're totally good. Yeah. Do you have good relationships with all your exes? No, he's the only one I think I talk to. I don't have that many boyfriends. My it was him, then I dated another guy after him, and we do not talk. And then I had an on and off thing with this piece of shit in Toronto that I hate. That we got matching tattoos that I covered up. No um, way. And then my what was the tattoo of? Uh, an ice cream cone. And I got was that a, your first date? Oh, it was like we had this like crazy. It wasn't even I don't even know what the fuck it was, but he found out recently that I covered it up, and he was so mad, and I was like, <laughs> well, that's what happens when you're a piece of shit. Um, yeah. But then here's the problem. My most recent ex, I. Also got a matching tattoo with, but this one has scarred me so badly that I'm getting it removed. That's why I'm wearing high socks because I don't want anyone to see it. I wear high socks all the time. I don't want anyone to see it anymore. Really? I'm repulsed by it. I've I've gone to three laser removals. It takes a very long time to remove a tattoo. Yeah, I found it. I got a I got a insane text message after I broke up with him from another woman, that was uh bad, bad to say the least. So I was like, oh that can't be there. Uh oh, ooh, oopsies, that tattoo has to leave. Not even a cover up. No, nope. and be he still has me on his Instagram. Audience. He still has photos of me on his Instagram, which is really alarming because I'm openly talking about how much I fucking hate him. So I don't no understand way. why he's not getting the hint. It's creepy. It's like a weird controlling thing, I think. How'd you guys meet? Fan. Oh, fan. fan. in Salt Lake City, ex-Mormon. Hey. Did you guys soak? I don't ever want an ex-Mormon talking to me again. I I'm done with Mormons. I, that's, that's my, they, isn't there that's my ick now. soaking? They can't have sex, right? Yeah, that's my ick. You say you're, you're a Mormon, you're ex-Mormon, that is my, that's, that's my, that, not even, there's not even, I can't even be like, oh, maybe, no, that is my number one now. That's it. That's no Mormons, no, just less no Mormons. No Mormons, yeah. no ex-Mormons, that's it, we're, we're done. They hate women. They hate women. They really treat women like shit out there. Is that the religion oh, yeah. where you can have multiple wives? Mm -hmm. And then, have oh, yeah, you heard of the not, thing they're... soaking they do? I, oh, I, I have a whole bit about soaking. It's disgusting. Have you soaked? I'm never soaking. I've never talked have to you ever soaked? in my life. No. Gross. Some friend comes over, jumps in the bed. It's a whole thing. It's bizarre. Well, you wish that guy was sleep that was sleeping on the floor earlier. Probably got no, some action I'd like that. I'd, I'd love him to soak. I'd yeah. Love him to jump in. <laughs> love him to jump in. Just even like to sit on the edge of the bed, facing the other way. Yeah. Where's your your? Let's go back to comedy. What's your, where's your favorite place to do comedy? Um. You seem like a New York girl New York, for yeah, sure. New York. Oh, New York or Toronto? Because Toronto's my home. My home. I'm, I'm doing actually my first uh, big theater. Show it's almost sold out in Toronto. No way. Yeah, the Danforth Music Hall. It's like a really fucking big deal. Twelve hundred seat theater. I'm like eighty six percent sold out. It's so fucking close. Let's go. I'm really pumped up for it. Yeah. I match with a lot of girls on Raya in Toronto for some reason. Oh really? You just really. <laughs> not to make it about you. Not to make it again. about you. God damn it. I can't yeah, stop Toronto saying. Yeah, Toronto or New York for sure. Austin actually is very fun to perform in. Have you performed at the new Joe Rogan's new club? Yes, it was insane. Really? It's crazy. It's cool. Yeah, it's like it's when a comedian builds a club. It's exactly what it's supposed to be. There's another one. There's another uh, comic named David Rodriguez. He runs a club called the Comedy Fort, and he built it from the ground up. And yeah. it's like when a comic runs it, it's like the lighting's perfect, the sounds perfect. There's a cloth perfect. There's it's the way it's the way everything is is, is well run. What's um? So yeah, that's in Fort Collins. I also like performing in Fort Collins a lot. Colorado's very fun to perform in. Denver yeah. is great. What's your favorite place in LA? The store. The store? Yeah, comedy store. Yeah, last night I, I would had say that's the epic, biggest one. Epic set last night. Yeah. Really? Yeah, you did yeah, a good I did, set? Yeah. Of course I didn't tape it. Uh, it's the ones where I annihilate and I get off stage. I'm like, why didn't I tape that? I don't even know why. Like sometimes you just get up, like especially in the, the OR is my favorite room, the original room. Like sometimes you just walk on stage and my energy just clicks. <laughs> did with you them. jog on? Oh, I sprinted on. Like, <laughs> there's these two Germans actually in front of me. Look at these two little pigs. And then everyone's like, <laughs> and then I was like, okay, I got the crowd immediately. And then I just fucked with them for the whole set. What would you give a tip to like a young comedian that goes on stage but is, isn't potentially hosting or like bomb is like bombing? Like how mm -hmm. to get them back? 
Although it, it just keep, comes keep with... Keep, like, doubling down on no, the no, crowd no. work or no, go into your no, set? No, 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 no. I don't think you should be starting with crowd work. I think the crowd work clips are, are, are should be done by comedians who have been doing comedy for a long time. Uh, I My suggestion is, if you're a new comic, run your own show. Host your own show. Get used to doing some crowd work, doing your material, going up between comics, doing some crowd work. Get comfortable on stage and then move into that. But if you're just starting and doing open mics, you should be doing your material. Yeah. You should be getting comfortable saying your material. You should be writing new jokes. Um, and uh, the only way to learn stand-up is to continuously do it. Yeah. You can't be like, I'm a stand-up comic and do it once every five weeks. I did comedy. Every, if I, I wish I knew the amount of shows I did. When I moved out here eight years ago, I had no car. I had no green car. I had nothing. I would bike to fucking... I do like three shows a night biking. I get there sweating my ass off. Some I wouldn't get on. I put my name in the bucket. I'd be like, okay. Oh, they're all open mics? Yeah, they were all like a lot of mics. I would bike to the store. I wouldn't get on. I'd bike to the improv. I wouldn't get on. Uh, it was it was a lot. The, the Laugh Factory would never, I couldn't even showcase. And now I'm like, yeah. it just, it takes so much fucking practice yeah. to get, to find your voice too. It took me, I wasn't, I think it took me seven years to find my voice. Yeah. Like you can't just get it right away. And I, so I guess I started younger. It was harder, but I'm like, the only way to get good is to continuously do it. Yeah, the the whole open mic process sucks. Uh, open, oh, it's hell. Open, because like the audience members are f other comedians that don't want to laugh at your no, jokes. No, it's it's a nightmare. I moved out here after being like I left Canada as a touring headliner, and I came out here and I said, "Open mic comedian again." Really? Full open mic comic. Yeah, I came out here. I got no, no one cared that I did just for laughs. No one gave a fuck because I had no late night credit. I was like literally slop all over again. So. How is it like going from all these open mics to now the comedy store? Is it just like you feel, you know, thankful and you know, Oh, I'm so thankful. I'm but, so thankful. But you know you put the work in. I you know don't I have like uh, what's uh imposter syndrome? Was that what it's called? Uh, yeah, when, like, I, I, I had it for a bit and I sometimes still get it at like some certain shows, but I know I'm funny. Like I, I was like a lot of comics do comedy and I'm like, why how are you, what are you doing? Like I so many people told me I should be a comedian. All my teachers in high school were like, you're dog shit at school, but you're really fucking funny. Yeah. Like everyone, all my friends growing up, like everyone was like, you need to do stand-up comedy. Like People I'd meet in the street, like in bars, like people are like, you're fucking funny. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, I know I'm funny. This is like, and then actually someone said something to me in, in Tampa, this like really old couple that was there. I could tell they got like free tickets and they waited in the meet and greet line. They came up to me and this old man was like, I just want to let you know that um, this is what you're supposed to be doing. You know that, right? I was like, yeah. He's like, no, seriously. He's like, you rarely see a comedian that actually should just simply be doing stand-up comedy. He's like, and that's you. And I was like, that's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to wow. me. I'm like, that's so fucking, but I'm like, I, I, I honestly think I'm like, there's nothing else I can do. You were like, I want to fuck this guy. I, was like, I honestly did. I was like, am I fucking you? Um, the 60 am I fucking this? He was older. I was like, am I fucking a seven-year-old? Uh, <laughs> so going from like the open yeah. mics, do you think that's a beneficial process in trying to like grow your brain and book bigger and better uh, spots? Or is it strictly just practice? Both. Because do, do you get recognized at an open mic or is it kind of like? I mean, I haven't been to an open mic. In <laughs> no, I know. But like, but like <laughs> I don't know, when you got, is that when you started booking more work because no, of those? No, 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 no. How I was, just got, you start? I, I just started, you get like, you once you get better, you should like do some festivals here and there. You meet people at different festivals. You go to those cities, do shows with those people. Then you kind of start slowly meeting people. And like most of the things I get now are other comics giving me shit. Like I'm in Bill's movie and then I'm in Esther Pavitsky. You know her? She's in a movie coming on Netflix. She cast me from her seeing me. Uh, really? shows. Yeah, all the podcasts, like Bobby Lee getting on his podcast. Tom Segura said he saw a clip of mine and other people talked about me. So it's like, it's literally who you Let's know. Go. But it's like just being around these people and building up like a community and just being fucking funny. Being funny and being nice. Yeah. If I can say two fucking things to you, be funny, be nice. People, like there's so many pieces of shit comics that like everyone talks shit. Like I know, like I can, I can honestly sit here and say that people aren't talking shit about me. I'm talking shit about everybody. But I can honestly be like <laughs> people, I, I honestly believe that people, I'm nice. I'm a, I'm a disgusting pervert, but I'm a fucking nice person. Yeah. I'll help out comics when I can. Like the two guys that are opening for me on the road are like two Canadian guys who I think are the funniest people on the planet. And like one's doing really well now, but my other buddy Alex needs, he's the worst social media on the planet. But I'm like, he's so funny. And every time he opens me, he annihilates. And like some comics, bigger comics take like people who aren't as good on the road. Yeah. To be like, I don't want to kill I, I want to, to be backstage going, fuck, this guy's fucking, like I want that. Yeah that energy to be like, I have to do better than him now. Like it's exactly. like, it's, and I want to showcase how funny my friends are. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, it's odd when people just treat you like the amount of people that just treat my shit for no reason. When I moved out here too. I was like, I don't even know you. Why do people feel the need to be mean? It takes so much energy. It's so much energy. And it's so busy. Like, you don't know who anybody is yeah. or who anybody's going to be or what they do or what they went through that day. So it's like such an insane thing to just straight up be rude to somebody for no yeah, reason. Like you don't know if like a woman got like stood up like four times in the past yeah, two weeks. You don't, it's like, <laughs> you don't know. Like you, insane, you don't fucking, right? it's, it's crazy the way people behave. Like I, I mean to somebody if they're mean to me. Yeah.
And I met you, what, a week and a half ago at the Laugh Factory. Yeah. Uh, you were on uh, Benedict's show. Shout out Benedict. Benedict is a nut. We became like Instagram I'm, friends. Oh, really? That's how I met him. And he's I, hilarious. He's so, and I'm like, I, because he's like one of those guys that looks like a piece of shit douchebag. Yeah. And then you meet him. But I'm he's like, not. He's like he's one of the not. nicest people. He's so nice. And it's funny because I saw another comic that was at the show and the guy was hosting Steve and he was like, he's like, how long have you known Benedict for? I'm like, that's the first night we actually hung out. He's like, I like, that was the first time I wouldn't even know. Yeah, he's like, I thought you guys are friends for years. I'm like, we just have that, like, because yeah. also I love when hot guys are stupid because I can just fuck with them. Because I'm like, you're he's a big such- dumb dumb for oh, sure. Oh, he's a big fat idiot. And he's it's, like a it's big just, baby. He's a big baby idiot. And it's really fun <laughs> to just like rip you're those kind of guys in half. It's just so fun. Yeah. And Because it, it's like, he's he like takes it, he rolls with it, and, like, and he knows. Yeah. He was on the podcast with someone else from FYI Island season two, and I'm on the new one. Okay. Yeah. So you watch reality TV? No. Sorry. <laughs> I actually Cool, cool, cool. We're gonna wrap it up here. I actually hate reality TV so fucking badly and I think it's ruining I think it's why? ruining art. You know why? <laughs> art mean, maybe, for sure. Maybe Fuckboy Island, but I'm like, I I don't know. I uh, the mass singer, if I could, oh, that if, is I could so end, if I could end stupid. one show would be that show makes me so fucking it's mad. So stu- you know they're not even singing. I don't know what they're it's doing. All pre-recorded. It's so psychotic. Yeah. The whole thing's crazy. I don't know why I just never got into How about the one on Netflix right now? Uh is it cake? They bring out two uh, trays. One's cake of an object, like a Converse sneaker or a bidet of sorts. One's an actual Converse sneaker bidet. And the celebrity judges have to guess if it's cake or not. And I'm over here trying to pitch a fucking special, and they're like, oh, maybe. And that's getting a fucking show? This is, I'm, I'm over <laughs> this. This is crazy. And like the worst host in the world, I'm not going to name names, but he was on SNL, and I don't think he's that funny. Uh, <laughs> but, you know. Uh, the only reality shows I love is Love on the Spectrum and Down for Love. Okay, let's get those let's, are the best fucking TV shows on the planet. Okay, there's nothing I I like. I watched Down for Love in a day. I cried out every piece of moisture. I couldn't have fucked that day if I wanted to. I had <laughs> nothing left. I sobbed. Really? Oh my god, it's so pure. Love on the Spectrum. Love. It's so fucking well, pure. Well, think about. I I always think about the casting process, like the kind of like balls to be the casting director to tell someone of downs or autism that Wait, uh, you don't got it. it you know like <laughs> yeah, they no, wouldn't be good tv i, I think the casting was... process would be insane no, for it love would and be, it really would but it's like they're it's just so honest and perfect especially dating coming from like this city watching how horrendous it is seeing just people go no i don't like you at the end of the day going okay me either and then they, that's it like it's the best. Have you read Naked and Have you watched Naked and Afraid? Oh, I love Naked and Afraid. Really? I had a girl on my podcast, Naked and Afraid. If I was on it, it'd be Naked and Embarrassed. No, I'd be uh, Naked and uh, my pussy's wise out. Like I, that. Do you know that all that's real? I had a girl on my podcast. She's like, they don't help you at all. She's like, if you need water, she's like, people think that the production company is giving water. There's no water. No way. They give them nothing. Nothing. Stacy, she was on it. She literally got burned by a pot of boiling water. And she, it was, it was insane yeah. how I met her. Literally, Who I go through that. Like, and she like, literally not... had to be rushed to emergency. She's like, my skin. She, I tried not to leave, but I was getting like a staph infection. And my skin was bubbling up, and there's like bugs crawling. She's like, I had to leave, but like they waited a long time to take her anywhere. Really, they do not fuck with you. That's it. So staph infection, and you have a podcast. Staph, it's infection. staph infection. That's yes, yes, hilarious because yes. I just yeah. got that. Uh huh. Uh, yeah, yeah, me. yeah. It's a very specific. It's a very uh, dirty. Not even, it's not even sexual dirty. It's just like it's a, all about body ailments. So it, is ailments? What's ailment? Is like it ailment, like, a, like a injury, like a. I've had I've had like. What? Oh, something like it's not good. Well, yeah, but I've had like people with like it, it ranges from like somebody breaking their ankle to a guy came on and he uh, he fell through a ceiling and he lost feeling of his bottom half of his body. You know, he's he's a paraplegic now. Like I had like ranges. Oh, for, like, okay. I thought it was all sexual. No, no, it's not like someone at has all. a small penis. Well. There, you really want on the podcast, is that why? <laughs> 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 it's it, it's really like it's some people have something crazy, and some like Brittany Furlon had one of the craziest episodes of my life. And if you know her, she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah she almost died like three times. Like she has crazy, crazy stories. Like some people you don't realize have had like have gone through. Like Ryan Sickler almost died recently. Another really great comedian. That's he came nuts. in and talked about it. Yeah. So it probably gets like serious too. Oh, I've watched a few serious. clips. They're all funny, but no, like no, it probably no. gets like. I had a hospice nurse on a cry? couple weeks ago. Yeah. Oh yeah, I had a hospice nurse on and she was talking all about death and how trying to make people feel more comfortable dying and that was really serious. And then I just had on um, a mortician and that was fucking crazy. Ooh. She brought her kit and went through every fucking, she's like, this scoops out a baby's ribs. I'm like, oh, oh, Like, no, oh, it was crazy. I don't even want to think about that. No, it was nuts. Yeah, I've had some pretty interesting Do you like episodes. that shit? Like no, crime the, docs, Jeff Dahmer, like that, the, that I, show? I do watch it, but it grosses me out. Like I can't, I have to cover my eyes. Really? I don't even know why. I don't know. This all started because my ailments, because I had the fucking 
big hymen and I like I have this new thing where from the vaccine I, I have hives all the time. Oh no. Yeah, the, the vaccine Moderna the, the, the vaccine apparently if you have pre existing skin issues, I get hives like every day. Wow. And nothing gets rid of them except Benadryl. Um, and then you're always tired. Yeah, then... so I don't take Benadryl. So I just, and that, like sometimes they get so bad that I have to go to the hospital because it goes in my face. No way. But I have to usually just, actually I have none right now, which is shocking. I usually have them on my arms, my chest, my legs, but I always have something wrong with me. Yeah. There's always an ailment or some weird rash. Or like I'm allergic to the sun. If you, I, have, I have, um scars all over me. You can kind of see them. Sunspots? Yeah, yeah. From... I got some puppies up here because I don't use sunscreen. You should. No, I get like actual blisters. Like I had to go to the hospital. I had third degree burns from, in Mexico. I had like actual boils on my skin. Really? Yeah, yeah. Started recently, like late in life. Yeah, yeah. It's very bizarre. Oh, wow. Yeah. No me likey that. No me likey either. No me likey. No me likey either. All right. We're taking what? too much of your time, but I do want to ask. What are their sex questions? One, Was there more sex questions? What is there this? There is a lot. What's your favorite um, like place you can have sex? You know, like I think like a public restroom is kind of kinky, you know, like I've the fear of getting restroom. caught. Yeah. I'm oh, you've done life. public restroom. Well, I, I like a bed. I love a nice, simple bed. Yeah, I'm getting old. The back hurts. I like, and because of the squirting, I need towels. I like to lie down on a couple of towels. I like it. <laughs> That's it. Wait, do, wait, do you preface that you're a squirter? To yeah, some guys, yeah, yeah. Why? Because you know, because like you fuck on the first date. I like to fuck on the first date. Oh, just just to see if the goods are good. And see, I like to see the goods are good. I'm, yeah. I, I, I'm at the point now. I don't. I don't like to waste time. So if I wait four or five dates and then he takes it out and his, his urethra is like giant like the size of this fucking can i'm like i can't i can't have that i i i, I must be able to like it and i, I want to see if you're clean it's like yeah what about bush oh i like i like pubes you like pubes i need pubes do you rock pubes? oh i got pubes yeah pubed up, pubed up. disgusting <laughs> pubed up. i hate got, no pubes we got george w bush children <laughs> it's absurd i want full pubes down there i want everyone to have pubes i like pubes everyone pubes just the friction of the hair pubed up. The intertwined pubes also kind of helps it keeps it cleaner down there it traps yeah 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 it traps what crabs it traps stuff no, really? it's, it's like pubes are supposed to help clean. Have you ever had an STD? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I had HPV for years. I, I turned into cancer. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm sorry. It's fine. No, it's, <laughs> I love the way you're laughing. You're like, yeah, no, it's very common. And most people have HPV, but mine like... What's HPV? Herpes? No, no, warts. It started, yeah, it started, it started as a wart, and then the wart went away, and I was like, oh, I'm fine. And then um, all oh, of a so sudden... so it's just something you live with? Everybody's HPV, but mine like turned like they kept checking, and then by like the third year, and they're like, "Oh, your cancer, your cells turned cancerous." I'm like, "I have cancer." They're like, yeah. And I'm like, "Huh?" And then they had to go in and burn it out, and you smell your own burning flesh. It's hell. No way. Yeah. Yeah, men carry it, and they don't have any symptoms. Yeah. So you could oh. have it. You you have it. You have, you, you have it. You, Based on your you, chats. <laughs> well, let me. This is what I like to tell everybody, and this freaks everybody out. But this is a, if I could give one piece of advice, it's gonna freak everybody out. So HPV and herpes right now, the virus has like multiplied so many times at this point that even if you're wearing a condom, the entire boxer shorts area can be carriers now. So somebody could be wearing a thong, riding you in boxers, and your boxers could ride up a little oh, bit. I love and a dry hump on top. I love a dry hump. I, I love, love a dry hump. hump. Honestly, I love a dry hump. I love, I love a, a camel, baby. A I love a good dry hump. Honestly, I love a, I love a make it. I love a dry hump. What do you, are I you a big foreplay guy? Yeah, yeah, I like foreplay. Yeah. I can also come from dry humping, which is so sick. I don't, oh, yeah, so, and yeah. then your pants are soaked? Oh, yeah, I'm like slopping around. It's a whole thing. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I like kissing is a huge thing for me. And my biggest thing is clean teeth. Oh, I, I love uh, bad breath. Teeth. Bad breath is yeah. non-flossers. Do you have a tongue out. scraper? I got a tongue scraper. Tongue scraper? I'm scraping up. Do you have an electric, electric brush? I got an electric brush. I'm flossing. I floss my car, brush? floss from my hair. Do you masturbate? No, it's not. I masturbated today earlier. Really? <laughs> oh, yeah, How do you yeah. masturbate? I, I found a vibrator. big black dildo the other night at this girl's place, and uh, she called it a wand. And well, I yeah, was like, easy, her wine, her wine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's uh, a wand. And I was um, like, baby, this is all I got. I can't, I don't know what we're going to do here. I can invite a friend over to combine the as two. As long but... as it's hard. Size oh, I get hard. I get as hard. long as it's hard. I get hard. Also, it's too big is too big sometimes. I mean, what, sometimes when guys are so big, they can't get it fully hard. It's like this big, loose elephant trunk flopping around. They're trying to stuff it in. What was the best sex you've ever had? This guy years ago, it was a comedian who I was so attracted to, and I did not know he had a crush on me. And I went back to this condo. He was so you were a fan? Toronto. No, no, no. I, was, I guess I was a fan of him. We were both, like, we were both like fans of each other, I guess. And he like took me back to his condo, and he lifted me up on this table and lifted up my skirt as I was eating my pussy. And it was the hottest thing. Like, also, when a guy Ooh. can lift me up, I'm like, oh, my God, I thought I was too big for you. Like, that was just <laughs> so sexy to be lifted up. And then, like, yeah. Really? Have and you ever this, had sex on drugs or like shroom? Do you take shrooms? I do take shrooms. No, I don't like drug sex. Cause it, I get too like weird. I'm already like MDMA sex. We're like, oh, it's the best. No, it's weird. Yeah. I just like I like to touch like an arm for a while, but I don't like. 
that Feeling sex your, is like your, a yeah. more mental thing for me i mean like drugs i'm like i want to be thinking of like weird stuff i don't want to be thinking about that all of a sudden it's what too do you much. think of did you ever like have to think of another guy because you weren't having a good time anymore oh yeah so many wait times. do you who do you who's in the spank bank well the guys mentioned neil deGrasse everything. tyson yeah, yeah. no sure. john ham john ham's up there i'd fuck john ham oh my god i want to fuck well, and i heard Brady. he's on raya i wish i could no see way him. i would never john know. give her some ham i love a bit he's got a big ham too Baked ham, oh, for you can sure. See it. You can wait, see it in oh wait, Google he it. has a known baked ham. Oh, Google it. It's like he's wearing sweatpants. He's got a big fucking horn. Right, gotta, oh yeah, I yeah. No, it's, to the it's bottom of this real quick. Yeah, no, it's 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 there. And yeah, I'm not the only one who's Googled it, so I'm not the only sicko here. All right, it's there. John Ham's cock. Yeah, yeah, that's all you have to punch in. Ham to, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Is it through yeah, the pants or like straight up? Yeah, it's through the pants. Yeah, yeah, it's through the pants. It's through the pants. I'm trying to get hard. Yeah, he likes the khakis, and it's it's flopping around on one side over there. Yeah, yeah. No, Whoa! Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, he needs a concealed carry. Yeah, Look no, at that thing. Yeah, he should put it in a holster. Oh he my god! It is massive. And you can see the top ring. You can see it all. He's circumcised. Oh, you can see it all. You can see. You can see. Have it you all. masturbated to that photo? Uh no, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I, my, the first guy I ever masturbated to was Tom DeLonge. Blink From Blink-182? Yeah, yeah, I was a huge crush on him. And that's your kink-182? That was, yeah, hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo. Uh, so when you masturbate, is it just thought process? No, or you I like, watch, watch porn. porn? I like porn. Do you think it's bad? I, had, I talked to someone the other day. He was like, I stopped watching porn because like it was giving me false expectations for what sex actually is. And I'm like, I mean, obviously it's not the fucking same. One's in your hand, one you're... Kind yeah. Of, so... I, I, I don't know. I watch a lot of female masturbation mostly. Oh, that's your category? Yeah, I, I don't. The men in porn make me physically ill. The POV and that gut. No, the guts flopping in and out. There's a t shirt rolling up and down. And I always picture the casting couch guy disgusting the old man. Oh, uh, sick. Oh, yeah. Sick. There's like two good looking porn stars. Uh, men. I, I can't with the really? men. I, I, I watch <laughs> the women. By name? I, I remember. No, there's one guy. Um, What's his name? Nathan. Uh, Fielder? <laughs> Nathan Fielder. I masturbate to Nathan Fielder. Uh, he's actually a friend of mine. He's so disgusting. What's his fucking name? Nathan, he's in my podcast. I'm blanking on his last name, but he's like, he's good looking. He's like abs and like that I can watch. Oh, okay. And it's like a massive dong. It's like a nice size. Have you ever taped you having sex? No, 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 no. no. We don't need to Even see that. Even for your own? No. <laughs> we don't need to see that. I watched myself in the mirror once. I almost threw up. It's, it's, we don't need to see that. It's I get a couple videos around. of like, videos. yeah, like my ex and stuff. And that like, occasionally I'll go back to, but then my ex decided that I was too young for her. She's only four years older. And three months after, uh, she dated Jeremy Pittman, who was 58. Ew. Yeah. Ew. She said I was too Young, too much. She couldn't get by the four-year age gap. She's 32. I'm 20. I was 20. Jeremy well, 31, 27. Pivot. And then three months later, thinking that I'm not enough and whatnot, Jeremy Piven. So it went to show what she's actually after in life. That's actually so gross. He's first of all, if you saw his comedy, I, I, I'd be like, is that funny? I've never oh seen him. God, no. Really? Horrendous. Is he just making like an entourage? I don't quotes? know what he's doing. He goes on stage, he sits down, the whole crowd's like, huh? This is it? It's bad. Really? I leave the room. I've never watched it. That's annoying. I sit. I'm like, ew. I think. He's also, I mean, I love it because now. Isn't like, he also? 58? No, I heard there's Oh, stuff, like, uh, yeah, oh, yeah, rapey? Yeah, there's something going yeah. on there. Yeah, definitely me too a little bit. So, but yeah, it just went to show, like, what she's actually after and it gave me closure. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Uh, so, like, for my potential and stuff and just... For your potential. For my potential, you know? <laughs> uh, all right, anything else you want to plug or anything? No, my podcast. Listen to Steph Infection. Follow me on Instagram. That's Steph it. Steph Infection, at Steph Tolev. She doesn't follow me yet, but that's neither here oh, nor there. Oh, did I do I not? <laughs> No. How no. did you notice? Let me no. let me go she right now. Follows John Ham's big cock. I actually don't follow uh, him. Hashtag, but she doesn't follow me. It's all good. I've been on the road. I've been doing shows. Now we ain't staying.